So thanks for helping my project. Um, did you know that NASA is planning to send people back to the moon? NASA is planning to take people back to the moon? Uh, like astronauts. Like okay. the last time was uh, 1972. Right. Uh, and so uh, they're working on a project uh, to actually send astronauts uh, to the moon again. And I, I just wonder if you had heard about this. Uh, I, I feel like I have heard rumblings about it, but I haven't really looked into it. Um, I think uh, the majority of the news that has kind of, as far as space exploration, that has consumed my attention is probably Elon Musk and, you know, um, going to Mars and things like that. So, but yeah. I think the moon, going back to the moon is a good start. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Do you think, uh, like, uh, where do you see the future of humanity? Um, that's a pretty wide and open-ended question. I don't know if I have, uh, I don't think I've ever thought about it quite like that, but, uh, I think innovation is important in all aspects, and there's a lot of technology that was developed for NASA and space exploration that has been benefited us here in other industries. Um, and if you ask me to name something, I, I can't tell you. I just know that at some point I learned about something that was developed through the NASA program and that we use every day. So um, I, my personal philosophy is that you, know, you explore all avenues and you see what you come up with. Uh, but uh, I guess you said that uh, the moon's a good start. Yeah. And Elon's planning to build a, a city on Mars. Right. Uh, I mean, do you see that happening like in our lifetime? I hope so. I think I think we're capable of, but um, it's one of those where we we might get our own way. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out and what the obstacles will be in order for us to say us, but in order for the people working on these things to to accomplish their goals. Um. If you could, would you take a trip to space? Absolutely. Um, how far would you go? Just to orbit, to the moon? Uh, you... There was a sign up for people who wanted to go to Mars or to be selected and I signed up for it. Uh, I don't know if they put it out, but I don't think I was selected, but yeah, I definitely would ex be willing to go even if it was a one-way ticket. <laughs> uh, was that the Mars One project? Yeah. Okay. And uh, did you hear about Inspiration4 last year? I did not. Um, so uh, this uh, this guy, he bought a um, SpaceX Falcon Dragon uh, ride uh, and actually used as a fundraiser and awareness project for St. Jude's. And okay. uh, they had a uh, drawing last year for anybody that donated to St. Jude's uh, last February. Uh, and they got to go to space. They chose uh, a person that worked at St. Jude's. Uh, anyway, but it's it's like three regular people and a billionaire right. all went to space last September for three yeah. days. Uh, so it was kind of cool. Yeah, it's interesting that there the, a new industry is emerging, see, emerging of uh, space, you know, uh, I guess tours, you know, just uh, being a, a tourist in, in outer space. It's exciting, I think. I uh, see this project as um, a documentary for people not even born yet to kind of make sense of this decade that things going to be so pivotal. Right. Uh, and I just wonder if there's anything that you think worth adding, uh, you know, for future generations to some, some perspectives you have. Perspectives that I have. Wow. Um, say like life in general is difficult and at times can feel lonely even if you're surrounded by people you care about and love you know we, we tend to think we tend to live in our heads you know and uh, with that being said like it's not a unique experience everybody goes through it and just Whatever your wildest and craziest 
ideas are or dreams or ambitions, just go for it. Just try it. Worst case scenario is you end up right back where you're at now. So, that's it. That sounds awesome. I really appreciate your time. Absolutely.